Good day everyone. I am here to present to you my research entitled The Psychosocial Development of Children in Conflict with the Law Under Detention in the Beacon Region. Before I begin my discussion, I would like to introduce myself. I am Marjo Lebreja Bunawon, 39 years of age, a graduate of Bachelor's of Science and Criminology at the University of Northeastern Philippines, Iriga City. I finished also my Master's in Criminology at the University of St. Anthony, Iriga City, Camarines Sur. Currently, I am enrolled in Doctor of Philosophy in Criminal Justice with Specialization in Criminology at the University of Caldera, Baguio City. I am currently connected at the University of Northeastern Philippines as a full-time faculty member of the College of Criminology. Abstract. Juveniles from risk group that could get in conflict with the law are often victims of abuse and neglect, negligent and poor parenting and economic difficulties. In order to provide for the care and protection of the children, attention must be given to the child's legal concern. Social professionals have tremendous obligation to comprehend the numerous psychosocial elements that influence children who are in legal disputes. The research is focused on how social, psychosocial factors affect juvenile in care institution in the Bicol region. <clears throat> Introduction A child is born with innocence and purity. Every kid's existence depends on the sufficient care and attention being given. If this done correctly, the child will develop a positive way. When children's surroundings are helpful, and encouraging towards them, youngsters behave well. The physical, psychological, moral, and spiritual growth of a child makes them capable of becoming conscious and realizing their potentials. On the other hand, a juvenile may become a delinquent due to adverse environmental conditions. A lack of fundamental requirements, inadequate parental supervision, and other causes. Juvenile delinquency is one of the social issues impacting not only children involved in legal disputes but also family, community, and society as well. Description the study utilized qualitative research designed through cumulative data analysis. It is the analysis of the frequency of occurrence of values of a phenomenon less than reference value. Cumulative data analysis is used to determine the number of observations that lie above or below a particular value in a data set. The cumulative frequency is calculated using frequency distribution table which can be constructed from the stem and lift plots or directly from the data. Children are impacted by youth crime. Children who are in legal trouble frequently experience psychological issues such as depression, a lack of one-on-one -on -one time, emotional neglect, separation anxiety, and lack of bonding. They may also struggle to be creative, have low self-esteem, develop healthy interpersonal relationship, pay attention in class, develop good study habit, or integrate into society. Children with mental illness who are in legal trouble. Children experience the following 
psychological issue, conduct issue, learning disabilities, obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD, personality issue, substance abuse, phobia, and depression by Fletcher J.M. et al. in 2018. In correctional settings, particularly in observation homes, social workers do a number of functions from providing direct patient care to serving their clients. Liaisons with outside organizations. Counseling is a direct service delivery method used to social workers that works well with young offenders. Additional treatment techniques include the rehabilitation model, group therapy, individual psychotherapy, the person-centered approach, and cognitive behavior therapy. Helping children and their families at the young age has unquestionably proven to be the most effective strategy to reduce juvenile misbehavior. Early intervention is attempt by many state programs and independent organizations can now approach the issue in novel ways. The following essential elements are included in all highly successful initiatives to avoid delinquency. Learning Model programs have given families and kids knowledge that has benefited them. Regeneration The fact that recreational activities occupy unsupervised after school hours is one of its primary advantages. Anti-bullying program Elementary and junior high schools implement the bullying prevention program, teachers and administrators are informed by an anonymous student survey on who is bullying, which children are the target most frequently and where bullying happens on the campus. Conclusion of my study Juvenile crimes cannot be eradicated just via the appropriate application and reform of the Juvenile Justice Act. It is crucial for the parents and guardian to educate children about, about the various causes of criminal involvement. Children who commit crimes are not criminals. In certain instances, they are the victim of society. If extra care is taken at home and the school, juvenile delinquency can, can be stopped at an early stage. The following are the references that could help in order to materialize my study. That's the end of my presentation. Thank you and God bless.